Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Samantha. I'll give a little bit more details about myself later on in the video. To people that watch us often, I know it's interesting to see me in a sit down capacity having a conversation type video because I haven't done one of these in a while, quite frankly. Angel has kept doing her testy talks and holding down the fort. Plain and simply, I felt burnt out. I needed a break from multiple areas of my life and YouTube was one of them. So yeah, I'll talk a little bit about that in this video. For those of you who are watching for the first time, I think it is important to give you context on who I am. And if you're not, feel free to skip over because you already know all this stuff. I am a corporate lawyer. I currently am located in New York. Ah, to people who haven't seen me for a while, that is an update. I moved back to New York from London. And I am entering my fifth year, or I am a fifth year, depending on what metric you use at a big law firm in New York City. I practice PE, investment funds, private funds, whatever you want to call it, primarily fund formation. I also do distribution deals, LP side stuff, a few other stuff. So if you know a little bit about that, it's interesting. To get into what this video is about. So on this channel, I think I managed to kind of stay afloat by doing reels and other videos. On my other channel, I hadn't edited, I hadn't posted a YouTube video in about six months. I recently posted a video in Jamaica and it was fun and it was great and I enjoyed making the video. But the reason why I took a break from YouTube actually wasn't intentional. I just plain and simply didn't feel like making YouTube videos. Initially, I thought it was because of a lack of motivation, you know, having to find the motivation from within. I felt as if we talked about everything on this channel already when it comes to giving tips on the law, giving tips on law school, giving tips on how to interview, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, we reached a point where I felt, let me not speak for Angel, as if I was just depicting what was going on in my life. I realized it was a bit more in hindsight because for about six months, I didn't feel like making YouTube videos. I wasn't passionate at all about the work that I was doing at work. I kind of just felt as if I was going into the office or waking up, getting the job done and wanting to go home or not wanting to do anything further. So I didn't really want to participate in the, interview, in the interview process. I didn't really want to go to dinners and lunches and events and things like that. So, you know, I'm just thinking I'm tired. I'm waking up. I'm tired from all this kind of work. But in actuality, as I started to regain the feelings of being passionate about what I do, regain the feeling of wanting to make YouTube videos, wanting to have more conversations about exactly what is going on in the law and in our lives, I realized that I was burnt out. I was I was really burnt out. The reason why I think it was burnt out is because it only existed in the work capacity, if that makes sense. So socially, nothing changed. Like I really, I still wanted to hang out with my friends, my family, do everything that we always were doing. I was living for the weekend. Going to networking events, going to conferences, those are things that I've always enjoyed doing, but I just didn't. Cause YouTube, of course, no one is forcing me to do it. So I can literally just like not do it and just talk to people in the comments and kind of things like that. And which is what I've been doing or making more reels and connect with people with reels, stuff like that. But work you gotta go to work right unless you quit or you take a break you gotta go to work but that was just like my my Monday through Friday it would just be like oh my god like it would be so daunting and hours felt longer than they needed to be so like an eight hour day started to feel like a 12 hour day 12 hour day started to feel like a 16 hour day etc etc where things kind of started to get ch to change for me where I got a bit more excited was when we went to the American Black Film Festival in Miami and I initially didn't even plan on going Angel pitched it to me and I was like sure like I'll, I'll come with you why not it's Miami it'll be fun nice weather I was moving back from London so why not but at that festival if you haven't watched that video yet go watch it it's a day in the life of a law entertainment lawyer I'll pin it at that festival when we were engaging and talking to other people I felt passionate about about work. Angel was vlogging. I wanted to be in the vlog. I wanted to do all these things, even though I still didn't really have the yearning to pick up a camera myself. I thought it was really cool that we were vlogging. I'm like, yeah, let's shoot this. Give me that. You want me to hold it for you? Blah. So all of that was coming back. Recently, when I went on my trip to Jamaica, completely unplugged from work, I was very intentional about not even checking emails, not even kind of thinking about it or having anxiety about it, taking a full what was it, a week and a half, maybe a full week and a half to just hang out with my family and relax and do nothing and sleep. That time actually flew by pretty quickly, but in those moments, I think that I really just was able to bounce back. And after that period, I went to work and I had a long work day, but at the end of the work day, I felt great. 
I felt different. I felt like I was a first, second year again, where I felt inquisitive. I wanted to ask questions about the work. I cared about the, the big picture. Like I wanted to know what the big picture was, what is the end result, instead of just kind of turning pages, uh, setting comments down, turning comments up, um, jumping on calls, but not really asking questions, not wanting to be in the office, all those kind of things. And it was when I returned from that Jamaica trip where I realized that it was actually burnout, where I was having conversations with people. And I'm like, you know what? I really haven't burned out for the last six months and I didn't even realize it, I guess, because I was just functioning through it. It wasn't a great feeling. And I think that ultimately what occurred was I never took a break. I went to college. I went to law school. I started my job after, after taking the bar. Between jobs, I never took a break. People usually do take a break between jobs. It's a great opportunity to take some time off and rest and travel and do all these things. Also not great at taking vacation. Uh, it's, it's crazy because I do actually advocate everyone should take their vacation days, but I myself am not good at taking vacation. And I think that also is what leads to this constant feeling of being on. I think another big part of it is that, for people who don't know, I lived in London for the last year and a half. And at a certain point, I stopped working on London deals primarily and I was working a lot on New York deals and what comes with New York deals, New York hours. And that was difficult where I was waking up early when we had to go into the office or a little later in the day when we didn't have to go into the office. But I was working until very late in the night. I just think it took a toll on my body after a while, which is also another reason why I wanted to move back between moving back from London to New York. I don't even think I took a break to move. Like I literally maybe took one or two days off. And plain and simply, that's just why I took so much time off of YouTube and I don't know I feel I feel back I feel re-energized I am happy again at work I want to vlog again I want to have these conversations again I want to shoot videos I want to watch videos I want to do all these things again on YouTube and I have all these great ideas career wise I'm entering my fifth year or I am a fifth year as I said before isn't that crazy if you've been watching us since law school we started this channel to all year of law school and I'm a fifth year associate at law firm crazy but career wise I'm still figuring it out I'm figuring out what's next I never actually even saw myself being in big law this long so that kind of is also a part of what's daunting to me figuring out what's next for me because I generally don't like the idea of going in-house if that makes sense like I don't like the idea of working for one company and learning everything about this one company and navigating this one company so that's never something that I saw for myself either but who knows? Who knows what's next? I have a few ideas about what could be next. I've been exploring a bunch of different things outside of work to kind of test my passions. I thought about doing a succumbent, another succumbent, because obviously I just came back from London and I was technically a succumbent for a year and a half. But doing a succumbent is something completely different and just taking a break from asset management. I decided not to because the work that I would have been seconded for kind of isn't really what I want to do. Essentially, I was just interested when I felt like I needed a break. I have been doing a lot of self-exploration and exploration of different fields and different ideas and having different conversations and or even like Angel being now in-house and being exposed to something completely different, understanding what that looks like and if that's something that I would want for myself. It'll be interesting. You guys can watch and see where my career goes, see if I end up here, see if I change groups, see what I do. So I guess this was just a transparency video because people claim we always make things look so amazing and don't have these difficult conversations. But in my opinion, a lot of what we share on YouTube is our real life. It is in a highlight reel, including this. And understanding that I was suffering from burnout for a period of time and I'm now on the other end of it. Yeah, I'm back on YouTube. What I've been exploring in and outside of work, what's new in life, where I am, where I'm planning to move, where I'm planning to live, all that kind of stuff um, soon comes. So yeah, if you like this video, as always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and watch out for more videos.